It's easy to be common. It's easy to be ratchet. It's easy to be unsuccessful. It's easy to just be a chick rolling around with a stroller. Hi, it's easy to be in the club every night. It's e that stuff is easy. There is no work at it. And um, been there, done that. There's a time and place where I was very shallow. I didn't, didn't know, I didn't care about where I would be right now. I started here as a teacher, a history teacher. I then became the dean. Four years ago, I became the assistant principal of safety. One thing I, I, I love the most that I do here is probably my smart girls. I started um, in February of 2006, um, meeting with girls and empowering girls. I decided I would be the person they, I needed when I was their age. The best of me I try to give to my daughter. The best of me I try to give to young women. Why? Because if we don't, you are combated with so many different messages of negativity and hate and shame. If no one gives you something that when you hear that negative um, comment or statement and tell you something, how do you fight it back? I'm a strong woman, and I'm gonna teach any woman around me to be a strong woman. My students mean a lot to me. I don't take no for an answer, and I won't. It may take me a little longer than everybody else, but I'm gonna get it done, and I'm gonna shine when I do it. I sprinkle glitter on everybody. <laughs> First of all, you know if someone is not getting paid to do something and they're doing it, it's passionate. She was the queen of tough love. She took on the role of being a big sister, for lack of a better term. I appreciate Renna so much. Like, I'm sure she knows, and sometimes we don't like articulate it as frequently as we should, but she played a major part in me coming into a, into a woman. Smart Girls was just an uh, organization here to help us and to open our eyes to the things that we needed to see at this age. It's so easy to fall off. It's so easy to take the wrong path. It's so easy to meet the wrong friends, be around the wrong people. But through Smart Girls, it, it, it gave you a circle of people who would motivate you, who would support you for years to come. Um, it gave you a place where you could be yourself and learn to love yourself. Everything I've ever wanted, I'm giving it to girls. So, the truth. You love yourself at all times. Nothing anyone can say is gonna knock you down. You kinda like, I heard that, they just a hater. <laughs> I take it personal. A lot of people think I don't, I say no all the time, so they probably think I'm this stone-faced person. I was pregnant with my first son, and I lost my son. And he, I got seven months of no, like, oh, he's not gonna live, he's not gonna live, so um, in that, interim when he was born, they said he wasn't going to be born, but he was, I kind of begged God, give me an opportunity to know my son. And he gave me 27 days of yes. And during those 27 days, I got to know my son. I was like, I got to give back. Like, you know, you gave me this, I got to give back. We make decisions and we don't think about the consequences. Someone has to tell us and tap us on the shoulder that you can start over. Um, there's women who make embarrassing decisions and they, no one is telling them it's okay. We were quick to shun and judge. And I think when you take five minutes and you are honest and truthful with girls, they receive that. They know when you're phony. All right, so my goal for today is that um, everyone that's here takes home something with them. Whether it be a message, whether it be a story, whether it be- I love something. girls. I can see a girl and smell her from far. Like, mm, she needs somebody to talk to. Mm, she's attention seeking. We gotta deal with that. There's girls who live it. That means you came with it. You're already on point. There's girls who want it. Man, there's girls who need it. My name is Mia. I'm turning 18 on June 7th, and I'm in 12th grade. Oh, what the fuck? Good. My name is Geneva. I'm turning 18 on Monday, and I'm in 12th grade. Okay. You need a good friend. You need a friend that's going to tap you on your shoulder and tell you when you're doing wrong. You need that friend that when you acting a fool, she like, mm, mm that's not going to be all right. So we've always been about helping women in the community because it's a women empowerment group. Take one of everything yeah, going down. Do all right? Okay, you may begin. What we've been doing lately is um, working in the community with different agencies that are willing to let us come in. That's where I'm getting my girls to understand it. it's about giving back. 
So I reached out to my I reach out to my alumni to give back to my girls. I reach out to my girls to give back to the community. It's all about giving back. When you have something, you have something in abundance you must share. No one's telling our young women to love themselves. Then how do they know that? Like, when do you take you first? Like, when do you invest in you first? So I think to myself, you tell women, like, love yourself. It can be construed as cocky. No, it's not. It's confidence. It's, it's being able to handle anything that's thrown at me. When we're taught to be competitive as, as opposed to be supportive, there's a difference. When I glance at Ratchet TV, um, they're promoting fights at 2 o'clock and friends at 4 o'clock. Five, y'all ready? this reunion show dressed up to the nines and there's not a lick of etiquette like who's doing that why is that okay why do we promote this self-hate anybody who is around me knows I don't do slackness so I need you to be powerful students and what do I want from them is basically for them to do good be comfortable with what they are find their passions and work hard <laughs>